my message for you is this, and I say it with love, but somebody's got to tell you this. Stop making everything all about you. This live is about calling you up, calling you out to your life's purpose, right? The calling that God, the calling that spirit has placed in your heart, right? This is for those of you who know you are meant for something more, something bigger than what you're currently doing, right? You're meant to make a difference. You're meant to help others. You're meant to lead. You're meant to inspire. You're not meant to just live an average life. You're not meant to just skate by to sit back and watch Netflix all day or watch the news, right? This is for those of you out there who have a calling on your heart. You know, coaches, mentors, entrepreneurs, influencers, leaders of any kind. Hi, Robin. Hi, Jennifer. This is for you. And if you know somebody who is a leader, a mentor, somebody who is committed to making a difference in this, in this world, tag them in this video. This is for those of you who know, you know this is on your heart. You know this is what you're meant to be doing, but you've been waiting. You've been waiting, you've been holding back, you've been thinking, you've been processing, you've been meditating, meditating, praying, and just waiting, waiting, waiting for answers. And I hate to tell you this, but that is you making it all about you. That is you making it all about you. You can't lead or make a difference when you're making it all about you. My, my team and I, we coached this to our clients all the time. When you're making it all about you, um, what are people going to think of me? Um, I need more information. I don't want to sound stupid. I don't know what to say. Yes, I have something important to share, but I, I just don't, you know, the timing is not right. When you make it all about you, you get in your own way and you never make the difference that you're meant to make. Let me know if this is resonating with you, right? You can't lead or make a difference when you're in that space of focused all on your own feelings, your own limitations, the story of why you can't, why it's too hard, why you don't know, right? And you're just sitting around waiting to have more information. You're waiting to have more certifications, right? To be in more programs. Just all of this waiting for what? There's people right now who need what it is you have to share. There's people right now who need to hear your voice and you're sitting back waiting until you have it all perfect. Life is not perfect. I get so frustrated with this. Like, uh, you, you can't go live on Facebook because you don't know what to talk about. Well, let me tell you something. If that's what's holding you back, then you are not a leader. If that's what's holding you back, then you are not a mentor. You are not a coach. You're just talking about it. You're not being about it. And you need to hear this message because somebody needs to wake you up. <laughs> somebody, need, somebody needs to wake a lot of people up out there. Look at what's going on in our world. There's a lot of division. There's a lot of stress, there's a lot of pain, and there's also a lot of people who are just waiting for somebody to resonate with them, who are waiting for you to share what you've done in your life, in your specific situation, right? In your personal life, in your professional life, in maybe you transformed your body and health is a big priority to you. Like there's somebody out there and I guarantee you it's more than one person who's waiting to hear how you did it, who is waiting to be inspired by your transformation, by your breakdowns, by your breakthroughs, right? So you can't lead or make a difference when you're making it all about you. When you make it all about you, you get in your way and nothing happens. You don't move the needle. You don't get any closer to the vision that you have of your highest possibility, right? You don't, you don't make, nothing happens. Nothing of significance happens. Nothing of significance happens. So you get to ask yourself the question right now. If you know, and just be honest, there's no judgment about this. Can we all just be straight up honest? If you know that you've been holding yourself back, right? You get to ask yourself this question right now. How am I going to feel at the end of my life if I know I didn't live out my calling. If I know I didn't live up to my purpose and my potential, I, if, if I didn't live my life trying, at least trying, right? If I didn't live my life in action towards the vision that I have, 
What is the vision that you have? That calling on your heart that you know only you can deliver your message. I don't care how many people are talking about it, but only you can deliver it in the way that you do. Only you can resonate with the people that you will resonate with. How are you going to feel at the end of your life knowing you half-assed it? You gave 20%, 50%, even 70%. Some of you are, are, are high performers like me, but you're still only operating at 70% because you've got imposter syndrome. Have you ever heard that? You've got imposter syndrome. You're thinking you're not enough. Who am I to say this? Well, who are you not to? You would not have that vision or that calling on your heart, on your soul, on your spirit if it wasn't meant for you. You would have a different vision, right? You would have a different vision. So you've got to get courageous enough and smart enough to know that, yeah, guess what? The, the vision that was placed on your heart, maybe it's not an easy one. It's probably going to take all of your life to manifest. It ain't going to just happen tomorrow, right? It's, it's probably not necessarily easy, but it wouldn't be a calling for you. It wouldn't be part of your vision. It wouldn't be part of your inner knowing if it, if it wasn't absolutely what you're meant to do. So who cares if it's not going to be easy? Who cares if it's going to take long? Who cares if you're not going to be a millionaire in two years? Who gives a shit? What really matters is that you're out there sharing authentically and trying to make a difference. There's so many people who have so much to share and you, and you, and you call yourself a coach, you call yourself a leader, you call yourself a mentor and you're not doing crap. You're not out there making a difference when you could be. And I'm not hating on you, I'm trying to wake you up because I see it over and over again. My team and I have been on, on calls all week, I think 12 or 13 calls so far this week with different people who are so afraid to get out there and put themselves out there because they might not get it right, because they're not ready yet, they don't have enough time, they don't have enough money. And it's like, I think of somebody like Mother Teresa, I can't imagine her saying, I can't go out there and feed more people. That's the calling of my heart. That's the vision God gave me. That's how I know I can make the biggest difference. But you know what? I, I need to rest more or I, I don't really, I don't know. What are people going to think about me if I'm out there, you know, wearing my hab habit and, you know, wearing like, no, no. <laughs> You got to stop worrying about what people think and you got to and you've get to start worrying about what it's costing you and what it's costing the people who you could be supporting and serving. Whenever I want to pull back, listen, we're human. Whenever I have I get into my story of okay, I've done enough or you know what? I don't know if this is making a big enough difference or I did something in my business and it flopped and like forget it. I just want to, you know, hang it up. Whenever I get in that feeling, and it happens. It happens to all of us. It, it, it lasts for like this long because I remind myself that it's not about me. So put your big girl pants on, take the loss, get back out there again, remind yourself of all the people you're making a difference for. I start to think of my clients. You know, I, I, I'll think, I'll, I think about you know, Linda, who's working out for the first time in her life, not because I teach that I'm a performance coach, right? But because she's believing in herself now, she's got the confidence, she's, she's making that a priority. And because she's doing that, you know, she's actually out there serving an audience again, right? Like I think of Jill, who is, you know, making a difference for matriarchs, women 60 and above to live this vibrant, healthy um, life. You know, I think about um, Catherine, you know, my client, who's finally woken up to just how freaking like needed the work is that she's doing in the world helping the sober community right like I think of those people and I'm like if I pull back and sit back and worry about myself and how I look or something didn't work out the way I want it I'm freaking selling out on them like I'm selling out on the people that I'm making a difference for that I'm helping right so remind yourself of when you have used your voice remind yourself of when you have gone all the way right and 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 remember that start collecting evidence look around and see what you created in your life what you caused and created in the people that you served when you actually put others first right 
How will you feel at the end of your life if you didn't live out your calling or your purpose? How will you feel? I mean, can you sit with that? Because I can't. I can't. And if, and if your calling is so big that you're afraid of it and you don't know how it's going to happen, like I don't know how my biggest vision is going to happen, that's a great sign. And I don't need to be in a rush, meaning like if I don't start seeing this number or that number or that marker of success tomorrow or next year, it means I'm all, I, I got to give it up. No, if you have a calling to be a leader and a coach and a mentor, it's lifelong. It's lifelong. I think of um, Louise Hay, who didn't even start her career until she was in her 60s. And now, you know, she's passed away, but has one of the, the biggest publishing houses in the world, right? So stop giving up. Stop selling out on yourself, right? What you're doing doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're going to fall down. You're going to have setbacks. You're going to you're going to get some things right and you're going to get some things wrong. But I can guarantee you this. If you are actually out there on the playing field, right? Taking the the hits, getting down and getting back up. If you're playing this game of contribution, if you're playing this game of service and of leading and of coaching and of mentoring, you will make a huge difference for the people that you serve and for the people who need you the most. You will make a big difference in this world where most people are sitting back just waiting for things to be done, you know, waiting for things to happen. You get to be the change maker. You and I, we get to be the ones who are actually sourcing this or creating it. You, it, it, the vision wouldn't be in your heart if you couldn't handle it. The problem is you're trying to do it on your own. The problem is you're trying to be perfect. The problem is you are putting your head down and just kind of trying to push hard behind the, the, the computer. That's not where it happens. The problem is you've got shiny object syndrome and you're jumping from program to program, coach to coach. You're, you're wanting a quick fix, right? The other problem is you're sitting back watching others do it and comparing yourself, thinking about what you could be doing, what you could be saying, what you could be contributing. And if that's how you're spending the majority of your time and your energy, you're not going to make any significant difference at all. If that's how you're spending the majority of your time. You got to get quick at interrupting those, those thought patterns. You got to get quick at interrupting that head trash and those old habits that keep you procrastinating, lazy, distracted, right? Lone wolfing. You got to get rid of that. You got to interrupt that. That is what we do when we work with our clients, right? Because we often work with vi vision driven, purpose driven. M maybe they get off on their vision, like get sidetracked, but they have a calling on their heart. We That's who we work with in my company. We work with purpose driven women and men. We help them get way more connected to their purpose so they get the clarity of their vision and they get out of their own way and they get out there and start making a difference. Because without that structure, without that community, without that support, without a high level coach who can call you out on your stuff and can see that you're at a seven when other people think you are at a 10 because it takes one to know one, right? Those of us who can easily skirt by at a seven, 70% because we're high performers, because, you know, to everyone else, it looks like we're doing everything we can. But I know you, I see you, I am you. I know that you've got something bigger inside of you and you got to get out of your own way. You got to get out of your own way. You got to stop holding yourself back because life is short. Life is short. Life is right now. The decisions you make right now, every day, right now, today, the way you live your life today, the decisions that you make right now is what shapes your future. I never, my clients hear me say this all the time. If my clients are on here, they're probably like, oh, here she goes again. But this is true. You need to hear this. I never, ever make decisions in my life, investment decisions, um, relationship decisions, um, what I'm eating, you know, fitness, you know, exercise or not to exercise. I never make any of those decisions based on my current circumstances. Do you hear me? I don't make it based on my current circumstances. I make it based on the vision of where I want to be. Because the decisions that you make right now is what shapes your future. 
So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Are you going to wake up and start living into your purpose and making the difference that you know you're meant to make? And if you're ready to take that step and have this kind of fire lit up inside of you, I'm going to drop a link in the comment section below. Go over, get on a coaching clarity call with us. My team and I are there to support you. It's a 75 minute session that has an assessment that you'll take beforehand. We'll use it to do a deep dive with you. We'll get you clear on your purpose and your vision and the specific steps that you get to take. You'll have a PDF printout to take with you, the specific steps that you get to take going forward so that you can actually live out that purpose. Maybe your next step is to work with a coach or someone like us, maybe it's not, but you get to find out what that is and you get to commit to what that is because you're not gonna do it on your own. I can tell you, I've been coaching people for 16 years. Get out of your own way take action and start making decisions based on the future that you want. Thank you for listening. I know I'm fired up, but this is really on my heart today and I, and I had to share it with you. Please tag someone who needs to hear this message or share it on your pages. Bye.